The New York Giants will have their first training camp practice on July 27th, and there are a lot of questions surrounding Big Blue heading into the 2022 season. New York Post Giants beat reporter Paul Swartz, he will be there at training camp, and he joins me now. Paul, good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Dexter, and I hope um, it's not 98 degrees when the Giants hit the field because wherever they are, I am, and I bought a nice big safari hat, and um, I'm going to have to bring that out there. It's it's training camp is we all have to get in shape. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah. we all have to get training camp ready. Ready, and yeah. you're right about with the weather. It has been pretty brutal, so I know you'll be well protected there. But Paul, as training camp looms, I got to ask you this: What is the biggest storyline surrounding the G-men heading into the 2022 season? Well, look, uh, the biggest storyline, look, what is this team? Is it a rebuilding team? Are they starting from scratch again? It's another new coach. Uh, but but overlying the whole thing is, do they have a quarterback? Right, Dexter? Do they have a quarterback? We know who it is. It's Daniel Jones entering the last year of his contract. The Giants decided not to pick up his fifth-year option. They signed Tyrod Taylor, who is probably, I would say, the best backup they've had in maybe 15 or 20 years. So he's a capable backup, but he's a backup. So this storyline is about Daniel Jones. Is he ready to take the reins? It's yet another new offense. That's not good for a young quarterback. All these different offenses, different offensive coordinators. He, Brian Daybol brings in his system from Buffalo. There's a new offensive coordinator in Mike Kafka. So it's his, you know, can Daniel Jones rise above that this summer, be in command and take the team into the regular season, stay healthy, and prove that he deserves to be on the team in 2023. Now, you mentioned the head coach. It's the first training camp for new head coach Brian Dayball. So what do you expect will be his focus and message to the team during camp? I talked to uh, the new general manager, Joe Shane, the other day, and he told me the big buzzwords going around the whole building is three words, be a pro, okay? Brian Dayball wants his team be a pro. From my sense of Brian Dayball in the spring, look, I'm getting to know him just like the players are, he's not going to be a dictator. You know, he's, he's very good with the players. He's going to have his rules. He's not going to have a million rules. I don't think he's going to care that much what socks and what shorts these guys are wearing as long as they're Giants-issued stuff. Be a pro. So, look, training camp is completely the judge and jury of the head coach. I've been through a lot of head coaches. They set the schedule. They set the times. When they talk to the media, when they practice, when they cool down, when the players eat lunch, when they go out for walkthroughs, head coaches, when guys are trying to become a head coach, they plan painstakingly every minute to say, look, this is what my training camp will look like. This is my plan. We will see that for the first time under Brian Dable. I think there'll be some changes. They're practicing like 10 to noon most days, but every head coach has his own little wrinkles. I'm anxious to see what Brian Dable's are this summer. Yeah, Giant fans are definitely anxious to see that, but be a pro. That's something to keep in mind, fans, as yeah. you watch uh, the team during training camp. Now, during camp, Paul, you know this, there's always some interesting position battles. So what are some positions that are up for grabs on the Giants roster that fans should keep an eye on? Uh, there's, there's not a million, but there's a few, certainly. Um, left guard, is it Shane Lemieux or is it Joss Izudu, you know, the rookie from North Carolina? Uh, Shane Lemieux, I think, has the... The, the leg up right now. He started a bunch of games two years ago. He only played in one game last year with a knee injury. He's a really good run blocker. He brings that tough guy mentality, needs work on his pass protection. So I think, uh, you know, that is certainly a, a job that is up for grabs. And one more I would mention, tight end Daniel Bellinger, the rookie from San Diego State. He's starting training camp on the physically unable to perform list. He's got a quad issue. I don't think that will keep him out a long time when Daniel Bellinger is healthy he will make a strong push to start as a rookie all right Giants fans keep an eye on all those positions Paul Swartz he'll be having an eye on the Giants at training camp hopefully staying cool I'm going to be looking Paul for the hat that you have making sure that you're well protected hope to see you again soon the hat and 70 uh, sunscreen I should be all set Dexter yes you, you should be fine thanks Paul appreciate it man